Welcome to Visual Basic Payment System. So I'm just going to start by maybe enlarging the form to about our size. Yeah, I think that's good. And uh, I would need uh, maybe let me just change the property of the form first. Let's change the font to about. Let's, yeah, that's the font right there. Let's change the font to about uh, maybe 16. Make that bold. And the next thing I would do is uh, get a list box there. Where my list box there? Let me paste it somewhere here. And I need maybe three of those. Three buttons. So change that to. Since it's a payment system, so I'm just going to call that calculate pay. Cal uh, calculate payment. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there and here. Let's call that uh, reset, and that will be my exit button. Let's just say exit right there. So the next thing I'll do is go into the property of uh, the list box and just change the content as follows. So let's say I enter five, make that eight. 20 25 maybe up to 30 or 35 that's that's good all right that's the maximum hours you can work a week the minimum hour is uh, five hours now I need a label so let's just enter a couple of labels there I need six of those one two three four five six okay so those are the labels. The first label right here would be my that would be the label for the hours. So that would be hours. No hourly rate of pay. So hourly rate of pay okay that's fine that's hourly rate of pay so the lowest is five pounds and the highest is uh, 30 something pounds so now the next one is uh, make that numbers of hours number numbers of hours worked okay that's fine so I'm just going to speed this up there's an error there. Let me speed it up and uh, I'll get back to you guys. That's the number of hours worked. That's fine. Good. Let's speed this up. Okay, there. And now, this is how my system looks. So, what I just need now is uh, let me move this down a little bit. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, that's good. So, the next thing I'll do is just to write a program so as you can see this is a uh, hourly rate of pay there and here I think I should say hourly rate of pay in pounds let me enter the unit of payment right there let's put that in bracket there okay that's fine I have number uh, number of hours work or worked sorry uh, numbers of overtime hours this is overtime once this is checked and uh, that's the total pay so number of overtime hours overtime I think I should move this let's move this just uh, move that down here and these guys go right up there yeah that's much better move this guy here okay so you might be thinking this is going to be a very long line of code in here. No, I don't think so. So what I'll do next is just uh, refer to this list box and get it all working. There's an error here. Let's get that sorted too. Okay, now let's start coding. Now double click on the command button there. So the first thing I'll do is let me declare to the variable right up here. I'll queue us uh, make that integer and uh, maybe Q and P Q and P yep right there 
So the next thing I then say is uh, the next thing is just to say if use an if statement if checkbox checkbox one dot checked we want it to be checked the checked then now let's say q equals by value okay text box text box two dot text multiply list box this box one dot select a selected item that in selected items dot to string okay so that is for uh, is that text box two or one one so the next one will be text box two I might as well just copy this let's copy all of that paste it right there there so this will be text box two now label six label six that's where my total will go dot text equals q plus p there that's label six else we we'll just say label six right here this guy right here paste it there equals all of this copy paste whoa no no let's copy all of this right here and that is all there is to this pay row let's see this is text box one text box two text box one text box two else no that should be one there and that's all there is to it so if i run my program right now let's run this program and see okay we select um payment is five pounds an hour so let's assume this guy has worked about seven hours just click on that and that should give us all right we need to correct this okay okay the error right there is supposed to be item not items take that off yeah that's it sorry about that so i'm going to run it again so let's say we've worked about 23 hours or let's go for some maybe four four multiplied by five we all know the answer to that okay that's 20 so that's correct right there supposing this guy had decided to do some overtime and the overtime happens to be four hours so that should give us 40 you can see that's very good that's correct um the reset button is not working yet the exit button is not working yet so let's go back into the system and get those ones sorted so double click on that all we just need to do in there is text box text box one equals clear text box two equals clear to so change this number to two there and that is all there is to it well, one more thing that we need to do is uh, maybe we should just convert this guy here let's just convert it to give us the pound sign okay let's just convert it to give us the pound sign so let me do this first let's paste that right there say the pound sign that's it right there all right so that will convert whatever is in here to just give you the unit of uh, payment okay the next one repeat the same thing enter a bracket there and then another bracket here and that is all there is to this uh, system so if i run the program right now guys enter my maybe seven hours seven hours and uh, that will give me 140 pounds i think i need to extend this okay now let's say we have an overtime of uh, about five hours click on that add it to that and that's what you get okay place that system we should have cleared this as well let's go back the exit button is not working yet okay go back to the form extend this 
to about that and the same thing repeat the same thing here right we are almost there now so I can just say me dot close right here me dot close you know what that means that means that I'll close the system and here that is the reset the reset is working me dot closes there and uh, that's all there is to this uh, payment uh, system guys so right up there in front of you are the lines of code it's only taking about 10 minutes to get this out of the way so I'm just gonna run the program again one more time for you guys so let's run it that is the payment system um, suppose you're receiving maybe 30 pounds an hour and you've worked about uh, six hours you know what I mean six multiplied by 30 and that's what you get did you actually do some overtime let's say you've done two hours overtime at the rate of 30 pounds an hour so to multiply by this add 60 to that 240 that is correct so reset the system there exit okay um, label 6 is not reset yet okay that is that now come back here just let's put finishing touches to this system and we can call it a day for now that's good that's much better alright yeah that's more like it run it now again ok guys that's my final output and I'm just gonna call it a day for now so I suppose you all enjoy this program ok guys so let's try out the system that's the amount of overtime and that's how much you've worked the amount of uh, hours worked so far click on that and that's what you get so reset the reset button now works we auto have and check this so exit go to the system and just uncheck this as well so it's a reset button and you just say um check equals force make that force yeah that's there so try it one more time checked enter value there enter something here enter selection and that's what you get reset there you see the system works as expected so 15 let's say if we're receiving 40 pounds an hour two hours worked and that's what you get so I'm just gonna call it today now and thanks for watching bye for now